All right, what's up, you guys? So I'm here looking a little frazzled, but I should have cleaned up my bed. Okay, sorry for the mess. Okay, uh, why don't I do a story time? Obviously, you guys know by the title of this video that I got caught got caught slipping. Um, so I thought it'd be a good video. So when let's just start off who i got caught slipping with um so it was my ex um at the time i was fresh out of high school so i was 17. we started dating after like our senior prom so me and my bff um went to prom together and uh, she was talking to someone that is friends with the guy that i met so long story short i'll kind of like like tell you guys how I met this guy um my best friend was uh, talking to her man or her guy and I kind of knew him because my older sister played basketball with his older brother so we kind of mutu mutually mutually knew each other um but it wasn't like I was friends with him so and I knew his like crowd, like his crew and everything. So anyways, so let's go back. Um, I met him for a cool minute. And when senior prom came around, uh, she was talking to him and he was like, let's meet up. I was like, find out if he has a friend. We ended up meeting, we hung out that night and that's how things sparked. And yeah, so then he ended up being my man and yada 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 so that's how we met now let's talk about everything else so, anyways, so um sorry i changed the lighting uh, okay so i wouldn't say he was the best influencer um because i never snuck out so it was my first time sneaking out was through because i have have I have strict parents but obviously when you're younger it's like way worse but um so i wasn't able to like sleep over to anybody's home um, it was hard to hang out with guys so like if i wanted to say like i'm hanging out with a guy you know it was a big deal so i didn't want to have to i didn't want to have to deal with um having to like let my mom know like i'm over here you know i'm doing this like like, no, I just, I wanted to be stress-free and her not bugging me. So, that's when I started to sneak out. Uh, so, I didn't get caught right away. I uh, snuck out a few times. It wasn't my first time, but. So, let's now talk about the whole purpose of this video. Um, so, I'll never forget when i pretended i was going to bed i would always wait until my parents would be like in bed and i would wait another like another 20 to 30 minutes to make sure they're like in that deep sleep you guys you guys know what i mean like they have to be like in that like their noise and they won't hear it so i had to be secured um so i would always wait so i think this time and they would always go to bed late so they would go to bed like at 11 okay sorry i'm like going back in here because my mama called so anyways um so they would always go to bed really really late so i always be up just waiting 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 so when this one particular night came around um so i got up and i was preparing myself and i remember um, my sis had woken up and went to the bathroom so at first I was like shit like I can't leave yet because she just went to the bathroom and I don't want her to catch me like going down the stairs you know so she and, and then mind you my best friend is telling her this whole thing that's why she went to the bathroom I'll tell you in a second why I, I'm I always tell my girl like I'm always telling her hey I'm about to go meet up with him you know I'm about to leave and like if there's any issue I'm always letting her know so my BFF always knows what's good but I guess she didn't want me to sneak out one night so she texted my sister and my sister doesn't snitch she was just trying to have me stall I guess 
Uh, so my sister was like, uh, like my best friend told her like, hey, like go to the bathroom or do something, like make noise so Jasmine doesn't like go out, go out or where or whatever. And so my sister's like, what the fuck? you know, so she goes to the bathroom and tries to stall. Um, and the only reason why I know this is because my sister told me. But, um, yeah, so I guess, like, this whole time I'm texting her, like, oh my gosh, you got it, blah, blah, blah. Um, my best friend would text, sorry, I have a hair. My best friend would text my sister, be like, okay, like, it's working, I don't think she's gonna go. You know, this whole time, she's, um, kind of make sure I have all this. So, I also notice a, a light in our spare room, which is, like, across from my room. Um, like the lights on which it's never on like it's never on and this one particular night someone left it on and forgot about it and in my head I was like I, like honestly I seriously had a feeling from the get-go like don't go out tonight like just something doesn't feel right um, what if it's this one night that you're you know my mom like I'm thinking in my head like my mom wakes up or blah blah um, and I was thinking in my head, like, turn off that light just in case. Like, just in case. My sister was, like, almost done from, like, from the bathroom. So I was like, you know what, fuck it. Like, I don't want to deal with that. I'm just going to go downstairs. Um, while she makes all this noise, like, flushing the toilet, whatever, I'm going to go down the stairs. Because the stairs is, like, right next to my parents' room. And my parents' room, like, oddly always has the door open. So I was like, oh. you know, stairs, like, creaks. So I knew like where to step and whatever. But anyways, I thought it was the perfect time to go down while my sister's making all this noise. So I said, fuck it. I'm not going to turn off that line. And yeah, so I, I go. So I go downstairs. I'm texting my best friend. I'm like, okay, I'm out. I made it. So every time I would sneak out, um, like the first like 30 minutes to an hour, I would always be like scared that like I would get a text from my mom just because it's like, Leaving, you're closing the door, you're, the gate's open, which our gate, like, opens, like, creaks, whatever, but, you know, it's just the thought of, like, you just never know. Like, the first hour, I would be kind of scared. Like, each time I would sneak out, like, I would be scared. And then after that hour goes by, I'm like, okay, I'm safe, <laughs> you know? So it's like a relief. But anyway, so I'm out, I'm out with my man, and, um, I think, like, maybe two hours goes, goes by, and I guess my mom had gone to the bathroom, and since she has her door open, um, the light, I guess, was beaming or, like, she can see it. So, she guys, so I have, like, no makeup because I got mascara on. But I did want to mention something that I totally forgot. And this is such a big part of the video. Um, so, every time I would sneak out, I would at least kind of close it, like, at least halfway, if not a little bit more than halfway. And so, when she woke up to the bathroom... She noticed that that it was halfway um, closed. So something was up because she never closes it. So for that to be closed was a sign. So I just, I honestly, I remembered that. And I was like, okay, now it makes sense why. And so when she opened that, she sees the light. And then it continues. So just wanted to add that in there. Check everybody's room just to make sure everything's okay. And I think that's just a Hispanic thing. But... Or whatever but um yeah I guess my mom thought it was odd so she had gone out turned it off and I guess in her head she was thinking is this like a setup like am I supposed to be distracted or whatever because that's what she told me at like later on um the light and then goes to my room she sees that I'm not there she goes to my sister and she's like telling her to call me I remember I got a call from my mom my heart dropped you guys my heart freaking dropped but my mom was calling me so many times she texted me so many times I think after like 10 minutes I had texted her back but I think I texted my sister first because she was the one that reached out as well and I just you know when it's your sibling you feel a little safer even though you're not but you do um and yeah so I told my uh, man at the time I was like, you know what? I just got caught up. I need to go home. So I asked him if he can drop me off. But then I was thinking in my head, you know what? I shouldn't because the guy I was dating is like tatted up. He doesn't look like a felon. But because my parents are so strict, if they see someone with like tats, they're going to think, you know, bad influence, which he, I mean, he kind of was, but you know, he wasn't that bad. Um, I just feel like, 
they're very judgmental so I was like you know what don't drop me off at my house because I don't want you to get caught up though drop me off at the nearest like store and I'll let my dad know or like my parents know that I'm there and they could just pick me up there so I think about it I'm like what kind of like man are you <laughs> like you're dropping me off at, in like three in the morning it's fucking dark and you leave like sorry I keep burping like I get it if you don't want to get caught up but at least like park somewhere park somewhere and make sure I'm like safe or whatever the only reason why I say that is because when I was waiting for my dad to pick me up there was like a homeless nearby and it, he looked very sketchy because first of all it's 3 a.m and then second of all he was like I would see him and then he would hide behind the bushes or like these leaves these really big leaves um and I was freaking out because I was like oh my god he knows that I'm like looking at him he knows I know he's there so I thought maybe like he's trying to hide and then like get me I don't know like I'm 17 like that's all I'm thinking so then in my head I was like this was a bad idea like why did I do this or so I'm like on the phone with my dad saying like hurry up <laughs> pretty much so so then my dad picks me up and he has like this long flashlight that's like heavy it's like a metal flashlight but it's big he had it with him like he was about to like punch someone with it but um he like automatically first thing he says was where is he i'm like what <laughs> like what <laughs> so obviously i lied and i said he's not with a guy um i kept saying i was with friends but all right what's up you guys so i while i was editing this video i had realized i did not tell you guys the important thing that i should have told you guys from the get-go my parents did not know i had a man like i didn't i was not allowed to have like a boyfriend or date or whatever so this guy that i was with was like secret so that's why i couldn't rat him out when i got caught up so i just had to like throw that in there because i don't want you guys to think like why don't you want to tell your parents <laughs> so yeah anyways go ahead continue hi and i went back home and my mom was on the couch i'll never forget i walk in and i'm like hmm. and i'm such a sarcastic person so i was like you know what i'm already in trouble so let's kind of make it a little bit easy you know so i was like i'm home <laughs> i'm the only one like laughing yeah I got in trouble, um, I kept denying that I was with a man, I said like I was with a girl, like a girl, like a friend, you know, and like, who, who's gonna believe that I'm gonna hang out with one of a, like a girl, sneak out, it was the first thing I thought of, and so my mom was like, uh, girl, like why would you sneak out, like why can't you do that in the middle of the day, which now I'm like, I, I get it, I get why you're asking that. But in my head, I'm just trying to, like, not rat this guy out. And I made up saying, like, she's gay, so I don't want her to feel uncomfortable. <laughs> like, dude, I don't know why I was thinking this, but, sorry, my little hairs are, like, falling out. Um, trying to hide it. <laughs> so I would tell, I told my mom, like, she's gay, and I don't think you guys would accept her, blah, 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 blah. So that's why I would sneak out. And hang out with her and then my mom like obviously thought like are you gay like like why are you sneaking out to be a girl blah 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 so i think till this day that they thought i snuck out with a girl because i never really confessed um i mean i'm pretty sure in their heads they know but i'm like never said it until they watched this video <laughs> sorry mom but anyway so that was pretty much it i just got caught up um they took my phone away i i was pretty much I, I was like locked up like anyways um that was pretty much it that's how i got caught up that was the only time i got caught up and did i sneak out after that i did <laughs> i didn't do it for a very long time but i still did it didn't stop me i I, I think I like was with him for a while and then we kind of just I kind of like gave up because my parents were like so strict that it was hard to see him I think he was a couple years older than me too because he was like I think two years um so it was just like I felt like I had parents that were like so strict and he lived on his own or with like roommates 
so our lives didn't really connect so he didn't understand like it's hard for me to fucking leave but how okay <laughs> like so i just ended it i was like i'm not trying to deal with this bullshit all right i'm gonna make this quick because my storage is low and my phone like stopped so anyways i hope everyone enjoyed my video don't forget to like subscribe to my channel and Stay tuned for more videos um, because we're about to get real on this channel and I'm going to share I'm gonna share a lot more uh, stories with you guys because we got a lot. <laughs> Anyways, peace. Bye.